Hi, Kafa. Hi, hi, Wei. Nice to meet you. <laughs> We're talking to Kafa Lu from, uh, he's in Canada. Yeah, right? Canada. I came from China origin originally, but uh, I live in Canada right now for seven years. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so Kafa is going to speak good English for us. He's going to, he's going to do his best to, uh, yeah, to my best. talk in English and explain, explain, uh, photography in English and, um, show us a few things. So if you, if you don't know Kafa's photography, uh, you can Google it, look it up. It's, uh, it's all over, it's all over the world. It's all <laughs> over the internet. <laughs> Kafa is quite famous, and his pictures are very weird. Huh, Kafa? Weird, yeah. I yeah. like the word. I weird like the word. Way. It's very, <laughs> very strange, very, um, very, oh, different, oh, very different from what we usually see. And um, they, always, they always grab our attention. They always, your photos always make me look, always make me think. And... Um, they're very interesting to me personally. And I think a lot of people think so too. And you get, um, you know, you get many awards and many recognition for your work. And I hope that uh, you enjoy what you do. You, do you like those weird photos? Yeah, basically, yeah, I just kind of person, I'm not our typical wedding photographer. I just uh, focus on the thing what I am doing and uh, what I do really want. And uh, yeah, I just uh, like uh, just play my own game. I don't uh, care too much about uh, other people, other you know, other voice from the from the social media or even from my friends. Yeah, nobody from nobody. I, I just focus on. I just care about my my own things. Yeah. How I look, how I see the world, how I feel, and uh, all these kind of things. I just uh, try to use the photography to express myself, express my experience. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Do you care about the clients? Uh, a little bit, <laughs> but uh, basically, <laughs> yeah. Because I don't want I want my class to see to see. I say that I don't care about them, but. Uh, uh, basically, all my clients, they are coming to me because they have already recognized what my photo looks like and uh, what kind of person I am. So I don't mm. think that's a problem because they love, they love my work, so they come to me. So that's not a problem at all. Yeah. And they, they expect those photos from you? Yeah. Yeah. So before we start on the five, five learnings from you, I want to just ask one question. Okay. What is the secret to photography, Kafa? I think uh, for me, uh, successful for me is uh, you have to put yourself into your photography. If the, I always say, uh, in the world, there's uh, enough wedding photography in this world, lots of uh, wedding photographers. So that's uh, really my interesting for me is uh, how Kafa in my photography. Mm -hmm. So that's the, yeah, I think the number one my interesting for me, how many you in your photography. It's not, it's not about uh, good or, or bad, Mm -hmm. or something wrong, something right, that, that's not the kind of thing. That's uh, about your personality. That's, that's who take this picture. It's not about, uh, only about what uh, this picture looks like. It's, it's beautiful, it's, yeah. But uh, yeah, that's the most important thing. That's the, what I, I am chasing. I'm chasing my target just to you know, put more of me put more kafa to my wedding photography. If your uh, photography has a lot, lots of you inside, I think that's a kind of a successful, yeah. Okay, thank you.
Okay, Kafa, are you ready to explain your, your yeah. share with us your five? Right, so we have uh, five, five wisdoms from Kafa. Kafa is the very- Your wisdom is just what I sound, I think. <laughs> this is what he thinks, yes. Yeah, what I want to say. <laughs> just joking. Yeah, this is, Ka this is uh, Kafa's, uh, he wants to share with us. I asked him to share with us his, his important learnings. So we're getting five, five learnings from Kafa. You ready, okay. Kafa? Hey, I'm ready. Yes. Kafa says, take advantage of technology. What do you mean, Kafa? Uh, take advantage of technology. Yeah, I, I mean, technology changed the world. And uh, also technology changed uh, uh, photography as well. I mean, currently we all change from the field to digital photography. So I don't really care about what, what technology is. What I want to say is that uh, the technology bring something to us regarding to uh, photography. Okay. So I know, yeah, I know maybe some wedding photographers uh, right now, they, they still offer some film, film shooting service to the class, but I think that's another story. Uh, what I want to say is, uh, let's our uh, work, work, work camera. Basically, I think most of us all use the digital camera. So I want to, you know, share with you with uh, is the is the new technology the digital photography you know brings up new to to us and uh, first i think um, digital camera makes have the opportunity to to do everything of under our own control from the beginning from beginning when we shoot photo and uh, to the end uh, I mean, the precise production and the printing, yeah, something like that. We can do everything by ourselves. And uh, absolutely, uh, from different pers uh, perspectives, it brings two different effects to us. We have more work, maybe we have to do uh, harder than before, mm -hmm. and uh, it uh, takes much time for it from us. But on the other hand, I think we can also consider it as an, as, uh, as an advantage. Absolutely, it's also, you know, to this different kind of situation, if, if I consider my work as our, our kind of business uh, running, so I just satisfied my, uh, satisfied my clients. So maybe I also outsource the uh, post-production part to, other company or just hire some expert to do this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But for me, I want to see it's our new opportunity. So I can, I, I just, I prefer to do everything by myself. So you use technology to save you time? To save yeah. time? Uh, not only about time. I mean, it, when I use the uh, Lightroom thing, I think that that's really a help. I can have to, to improve my, my skill when I uh, take picture. So that's a very, very helpful thing. I can use it. Okay. And also I have a lot of uh, this kind of situation when I, uh, because right now the, the, digital, the digital photography, the digital photos, when we shoot in camera is not a real, real photo, is our like uh, uh, some information of uh, the scene. We just take the information as like a data package, bring that to home and upload it to into our computer. So I have more com computers to improve it. Sometimes when I, I mean, uh, when I shoot, I, I don't really, on this kind of purpose to do it at uh, uh, very, very perfect result. So, for example, I can make more looser composition and uh, take some neutral exposure. So when I came back, came back 
when I do my uh, Lightroom, Lightroom work, I can maybe find another option. You know, when I, for example, when I, when I take picture, I with a reason IE, but when I do it in my computer, I found, oh, it maybe I can do it to go another way, go another direction, maybe uh, totally, you know, against each other, but whatever, maybe attend to another, another photo. Yeah. So, okay. So you use technology in post-processing to make your photos better. And yeah, sure. Anyway, you enjoy doing that, and you do that a lot. Yes, so. yes, yeah. I think that's the that's the good thing. Uh, technology take us, uh, bring us. Yes, right? I think that's yeah. a, that's the best part, maybe. Yes, thank you. Number two, Kafa, this is a question because uh, you're going to give us the answer. How do you shoot when you feel nothing to shoot, Kafa? Uh. It's uh, uh, in fact for me, I I don't really uh, relate it in this kind of a situation. I I say this because one of my students asked me this question. I I, I have worked up every day. I, every year, sorry, every year, and uh, I ask them to uh, uh, top three things what they want to learn from me mm -hmm. and. Uh, mm -hmm. Lots of them ask ask me this this they want, this is what they want to learn from me. So okay. I think it's our maybe uh, people care about thing. So long story short is uh, I make a, a lemonade. You know, lemonade. Yeah, that's so what. It's a saying. Yeah, yeah, it's a saying. I, I uh, when life gives you lemon, and uh, you make a lemonade. Lemons is the unsatisfactory situation mm -hmm. uh, every day we face. And uh, you know, my answer is that I made a lemonade because uh, that means we do something on our side or on your side, try to figure out a way to turn the situation into some something positive. Uh, I mean, when you can't change the situation, so the only way you can change is, is your style. You can change a lot of things. Uh, so why we take a picture? Because we, uh, we really, we, the reason why we uh, press down the shutter, we always uh, with a reason, right? So because something in that scene, that's something interested the earth, something beautiful, something make earth feel something. So, but, uh, but weddings are, are similar to each other. Wedding is boring, at least for me. I, I, I mean, all the weddings are similar to each other. It's especially, for example, for me, I, I shoot the wedding that's all kind of, because I live in Canada, I live in Toronto. I, in most of my weddings, that's our city wedding. That's all, you know, uh, that kind of get ready in the morning and uh, go to church, take some group shot outside, that kind of uh, group session, and then reception, dancing. Yeah, that's, that, that's all, nothing special. If, uh, I mean, if the class doesn't pay me, pay me money for, for this, this work, maybe I have no reason to press the button, that, to press the shutter. You know, that's so no, that's so nothing special at all. So that's that's the that's the situation for our wedding photographer maybe because we we do the same work day by day, you know, week by by week. That's all the same thing. That's not kind of uh, uh, if I do a project, I have some intention to do it, so I know what I want. If if. If, for, for example, when we do uh, street photography, if 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 the weather is not good, I not good enough, I may be changed to another day. But why didn't you have to do it, whatever it is? Okay. So yeah, so we have to. I mean, if if you can't change the world, you change yourself. And for example, I always keep myself moving. You know, moving moving means. Not only uh, moving my body, but also moving my uh, position, position of the perspective, perspective yeah. position of my camera. 
just uh, just a little bit maybe that's another way that's another word that's another you know photography maybe when you at this position that's not a photo but you just uh, you're moving right a little bit just a little bit or close closer a little bit that's a photo that's the thing yes i think and uh, usually when i shoot a wedding for example in the morning i always moving away my body from i mean when i shoot a wedding i don't think the wedding for example this part you have to shoot it i always just follow my guts follow my heart i just follow follow my intention so if, for example, what happened in over here, that I feel, oh, it's nothing, nothing special. So I move into our side. I change to another room. I'll always, I always move sometimes, especially when I shoot the, uh, the, the, the ceremony in church. That's a little bit bigger, bigger thing. So maybe on this position, you see nothing. But when you move, maybe two meters away, that's our good stuff. You know, uh, okay. yeah. You that's know. one way. So basically, yeah, that's one way. you have to change yourself. Right. Yeah, change my, change, change, change my, change my uh, position, change my uh, camera position. Yeah. And also, another thing is uh, uh, change your license. For example, when you're in the same situation, for if the, a 30 file, 30, 30 file lines. Use the 30 file lines, it, that's not a photo. But uh, if you change it to the uh, 50 or 200, mm. that's a photo, just in the same situation. So change lines is our, sometimes, uh, for example, our, on my first three years, I always use the 30 file. And the last year I changed to 28. I just want to, you know, that's two different view, just like a, like a, another kafa, you yeah. know, so that's totally different because uh, we see the world is not, not, not we take photo, it's not um, just the record, the, 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 the real situation by our eyes, it's uh, through the camera, camera, camera means what? Well, means the lens. Different lens, different car camera, different cam uh, camera, different lens, that's different world. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, when you change, change the lens, maybe you can find something new. Yeah. Okay. That's the, yeah, that's the thing I always try, especially when I think here's a boring, uh, boring scene in front of my, I feel nothing to shoot. So I do this kind of thing. Okay. And uh, okay. also yeah. we can, I, I always follow your, uh, see there, uh, post, uh, podcast, your critique with uh, Taylor, right? Yeah. So I, I listen, I watch every, every, every session. And I also learn a lot from you. I want to say is um, when we fix our exact situation, for example, uh, when a bread are you not know, fixed, fixing her dress or somebody else help her to fixing it. So it's not, it's just a normal action. In fact, it's not kind of uh, a strong moment or some meaningful stuff. So what can we do if we have to shoot it? I think uh, my, my way is to narrow down. You no, know? maybe through people, that's not our photo, but I want well, I narrow down to two, or just the uh, details is not kind of details, just uh, uh, the flower, that kind of steel photography. Uh, uh, detail is kind of thing that's not, not easy to be fun. That's not easy to be noticed. That's the, for example, the smaller, smaller moment. So I, I always narrow down, narrow down to, Smaller, smaller, and smaller until it's a photo. So some, some, sometimes it's too smaller. Too smaller is is not a moment at all. Maybe it's our just kind of I don't want to say that. That's kind of really detailed photography. But whatever, you don't have to shoot a moment as a moment. 
we face a moment, we face a situation, what I want to do is just find some good for photos, not how to just record it, right? For me, that, that, that's, my, that's my thinking. Yeah. yeah, we have to take your workshop to learn everything. And also, right. here's another thing. Yeah, We're gonna move on to the next one, Gaffer. <laughs> okay. Because this actually because, take a long okay. time. Yeah, because we, I have, I have something I call it uh, car flexion. That's my way to reflect, reflect something. Uh -huh. And uh, I mean, it maybe is not good. It's not good, uh, not good for uh, photojournalism. But how about uh, the photography? How about your photography? I don't care. It's just your subject. When here's really nothing can be captured as a good one, so I use something in my hand. I call it, uh, you know, uh, cover reflection. Cover reflection. Yeah, cover reflection. So that is okay. something really rebuild this world. It can bring something surrounding to in one frame. Okay. So that's uh, some, some type that can uh, turn out to our, you know, our expected way. Sometimes I don't really know what I do, but uh, always turn out to our very good result. Mm -hmm. So why don't, yeah, I, I call it this part is, uh, let's play, let's play. Right. When, when we have nothing to do, why we don't play? Very good. Very good. Number three, Kafka. Don't be labeled by the labels. <laughs> yeah, this uh, sounds like a kappa, kappa thing. Yeah. Uh, I mean, um, photography is about uh, about the possibility. It's not about uh, aim possibility. It's about what what kind of thing we can do. It's not about uh, what kind of thing we can't do. So that's the reason why I like I don't like uh, like labels. Label is the kind of thing you have to do thing in or by some certain way or how to take picture you know like something uh, where we how to say that uh, how to fit some standard so by that kind of thing you can feel safe you think okay I, I take a picture like this so mm, the people should love love it or my clients maybe love it that's kind of labels label limited our imagination limit so you think if you if you do this kind of thing like that that's wrong but wedding for example wedding is a label wedding is a label for me wedding is not a wedding 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 day just a day just like the day of yesterday Nothing, nothing changed. Does the just uh, at the day wedding happens? So I shoot everything basically. Everything. I don't care about which one is uh, is meaningful, which one is uh, important, which one is uh, uh, necessary to be shoot. I have no that kind of concept. I just uh, follow myself to do this kind of thing. I mean, I don't think, oh, I'm, I'm shoot a wedding. No, I don't think I'm shoot a wedding. I just shoot. And another thing, for, for another example is a ceremony. Ceremony is a label. I get ready, make up, all this kind of word. That's all label for me. I, I just, I think every moment happening in the day, that's all on the same level of uh, uh, important, importantity. Oh, what was that word? I mean, they are, are they are a same level important. I don't think this is more important than that moment. I don't think so, because uh, that's already uh, by the name of uh, photography. Absolutely, some memory uh, for the couple maybe that's important than something else. But that does, that's not my job. Something is unique for 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 the for my clients or customers, but that's not uh, unique for me at all. So, but by my way, I always, I think after of the day, I have 90, more than 90% of my works can, can satisfy the, the, my client, can, can fit their willingness. Yeah. So that's not our, 
a problem. You know. Okay. Thank you. Number four, Kafa says, equipment is more important than you think. Yeah, here's a little thing. Uh, because I'm not a uh, gears, I'm not a gears five. I don't know anything. Don't really know anything about the camera. Don't know anything about uh, our, our lens. And when I was in China before, was our amateur amateur. Uh, I have a good friend. He is our expert of this kind of equip equipment. So I don't know how to do it. I just ask him uh, if I want to do this kind of thing. How should I do? So he tells me, "Oh, your your camera can do this kind of thing." So I just follow that. But I don't really know this kind of thing. But uh, last year I buy our new camera, our small one, and it's uh, Sony. Sony 7, how do you say that? Sony okay. 7 a 3. I don't know how to pronounce this, yeah. <laughs> this, this letter. Okay, so, but I think it's a new, new game for me, a new game for me. It's changed the game because before I, for example, this part is our uh, back, uh, how do you say, the back screen? Yeah. It's, I, it's, it's easy to use. And okay. right now, because this part, I can, I can really do this kind of thing when I shoot a photo. Mm -hmm. I can keep watching surrounding. So I can shoot like this, but my eyes, I don't care how to keep my eye on the same direction uh, with, my, with my camera point. So when I shoot this way, I can watch that way. So because some people, uh, some, some, some people are, are shy and they want to hide their feeling from you, when they know you were there, so they, for example, they don't cry, don't, don't want to express, express their failure. And I have lots of people, I have some, pe uh, some photos shoot with this one. I think I can't do it with my uh, Nikon 750. Because I have a, have a, have a, have a photo that's a, a big head. And I should have thought this photo is like this. I, I, I see this way, I watch this way, but my camera is pointed to, to, to that guy and I hold my camera like this. And also I can put it really on the ground, some super, super lower angle. Mm -hmm. So I have a photo that I uh, have a dog, a dog, you know, and uh, uh, the, the couple's uh, mother put her, ha her hand on the dog's head. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, uh, the background is the is the couple doing their walls or something like that. Yeah. So if I don't use this camera, I think I can't take that one. So it's uh, yeah. We also discussed this uh, this question, uh, which one is more important, the person or the camera? I think that's not our that's not our question. That that doesn't make sense. Question because you are you. You can't change you, but you can change your equipment. If you have something new, maybe this, this camera can't make you become to another person, can't make you became or become a better person, better photographer. Okay. But this one can help you take a better picture. So if you can, I know it's, if you have money, if, if you can, you can buy something new, try it. Yeah. Sometimes that's another kind of uh, advantage from technology. Hey, Kafa. Yeah. Do you love the Sony? Is that the best camera? I don't think so. I also have some complaint, but <laughs> that's another thing. <laughs> yeah. I don't. I don't really care about that. Yeah. Okay. But but I don't really know how to use the Nikon that back screen. I use that uh, camera for five years more than, but I don't use the. That, that camera also have this part, but I never use that. I don't, I don't know how to use that. But this one is easier. So is this your, is this your wedding camera? Is this the it's camera? It's one of my wedding camera. And uh, I change, you know, I always use two. Uh, one is this camera now, and another is uh, the, the Nikon 750. Okay. Because I use different part of my hand. 
if I only use one, it hurt, it hurt my hand. Okay. When I use my 750, uh, this part, this part, that's all you know, pain. But mm. I use one, you know, and then I change that one. Yeah, okay. I switch. All right, number f number five. Oh, no. oh that's a lot. Kafka says, "Learning in something, not learning something." Yeah, it's uh, learning something. Learning is something. I mean, learn something in the process of learning something. Mm, I mean, don't take too much attention on the thing what you want to learn, what uh, make you, you know, to another level is the processing. In the processing, you are thinking. Thinking is a matter thing when you are learning. For example, when I, for example, when, if you want to buy a new camera, you just uh, go to the shop and uh, take it back. But uh, in this part, you're learning nothing, I think. What you are learning is uh, before that, you do some homework, you do lots of work before. I, I took your, remember, I took your workshop last year, mm -hmm. right? Last year or yeah. the year before last year. Yeah. And uh, lots, of, lots of students, my fellow, fellow, state, fellow philosophers asked me why you attend that, uh, that class. And my answer is uh, not only the thing which one you know, attract me is your and all the matters, your uh, knowledge, your experience shared with us. That's the only the one thing. That's the thing I want to learn. But uh, I also learned a lot, you know, on the way when I, for example, attending this part. For example, you have asked us to uh, prepare 100, I think, 100 photos. So I have to figure out which one is better than that one, which one I should, uh, you know, let you see. So that's the, that's the way I, I think it gives me some, some good thing. Also, also. So that's why I, I said, I, if you want to learning, try to learn in yourself. Don't pee. Don't, you know, I mean, you can do things with some purpose, but don't too much. Okay, I think I understand. So not just learning the thing, but yeah. you're learning from the things around it. Yeah, around everything. Around, around that thing, yeah. around yeah. the process, the people, the everything, not just one yeah, sure. thing. Sure. Yeah, that's interesting. For example, when we're attending uh, some contests like Fearless, we are not here just for learn how to win, you know, how to win a war. We, we, it's just a way to improve ourselves, you know, make ourselves be a better person, be a better photographer. That's what we want to learn. We will not just learn how to get, you know, get some of all. Yeah. yeah, you know, this reminds me of food, Kafa, because I'm hungry. Food, uh -huh. Food, I'm like, like eating food, like mm -hmm. it's not just the the food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's How the, to put? But it's the yeah. other. It's the other things around the food. Yes. That the food that that's, yeah. that's also good. It's not just yeah. Yeah, yeah the plate and the the, the table, yeah. the chairs, the, the food, restaurant. Yeah. You know how you eat yeah. and with with who. That's all the you know all the thing yeah. matters thing. That's even yeah. even important more important than the. The food. Yeah. Give your learning big. That's yeah, yeah. Okay, great. I love that. Thank yeah, you. Sick bigger, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Good point. Okay, that's uh Yeah, that's all. Thank you so much. That's the end. Thank you, Kafa. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. For sharing this and talking with me. It's good Thank to see you. Thank you so much. Give me this chance to share my thoughts. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay, so do you do you have an online workshop or do you have an oh, online I, I, right now I, up to now i i have no online workshop i just have uh, every year i have a workshop in toronto english okay. and also have a lot uh one or two workshop in china that's uh, chinese language that's okay. in a different yeah well okay 
So I hope that can happen again, and I hope to see you sometime. Thank you. Hope to see you again. I. Yeah, let me stop the Facebook Live first, and then. Um, I will stop.